they're not they don't give award to who suffers the the best hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is chisom if you're new here i'm a youtuber based in canada and a tech entrepreneur i have a app called budgety um if you're looking to track your expenses your income your investments you know you want to create and monitor your budget just keep yourself accountable financially budget is for you and if you want to download the link will be in the description box and just pretty much everywhere to be honest so now in this video i want to talk about some tips that i would say have helped me in achieving my goals as an ambitious woman living with sickle cell I feel like these tips are very important and I can share them if you are looking, if you're someone that just has these goals but having issues achieving them, you know, and maybe you even want to be ambitious yourself because I've, I've read that some people just feel like they're not ambitious and they actually want to be. So here I am just sharing some things that I feel work for me, right? To be ambitious is like, is a part of me, it's me. So I can just share like, <laughs> So the qualities that I feel like have helped me, you know, to just go for my dreams and, you know, work towards achieving them and being relentless and all of that good stuff. So, first of all, I'm going to really just give you a breakdown of, of who I am, right? I've mentioned, oh, um, I'm a tech and entrepreneur, but I, I'm also currently an MBA student, right, here in Canada. I'm also a product manager intern at a company that I work with here in Canada. Um, I'm running my business as I've told you I have a YouTube channel that you know I kind of I find myself dishing um, videos out here every other week so as you can see it's actually a lot you know and I happen to live with sickle cell and my healing is coming in Jesus name amen it's a lot it's a lot that I'm handling like you don't even have to tell me it's a lot now first of all I'm not here to like encourage stuff ahead no <laughs> As you see me, soft life. Soft life is paramount. I don't believe in just soft ahead for the for the fun of it. They're not they don't give award to who suffers the, the best. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. I just happen to find myself or be in a phase in my life where I have to do these things at once in order to achieve the future that I want to achieve for myself which is that soft life premium soft life that's about it so i'm not here to encourage stuff ahead or anything so the first point i would say has helped me is i understand that i cannot do it all i cannot do it all and i can't now even do it all at once so i i feel like when people want to speak about achieving their goals they're like oh maybe they have like 50 things they want to achieve and you feel you then to begin to feel some sort of way when you don't achieve them i meant to tell you that you're just one person and the first thing is realizing that you cannot do it all you can't do it all at, at best the thing that you can do is to have a laser focus on things that really do matter so my first point you know into achieving your goal is first of all knowing that you cannot do it all you can't and now that we have that off the table, the next tip is to now have laser focus on a number of things. For example, I've mentioned some things to you, my work, my school, my this, my that. I understand that if I have to achieve all the goals that I want to achieve with all these things I'm doing, there are some parts of my life that would definitely suffer. Yes. And it's coming to a point where I understand the opportunity cost and I'm fine with it. For example, doing all these things and living with what I live with, I have come to understand that I would not or I may not be blessed with as much friendships as possible. It's an opportunity cost for the life that I live. And you can ask yourself that question like, what are like the top five things that really matter to me? And focus on those things focus very aggressively on them and then i reckon that you probably have more than one thing that you want to achieve that will equally take your energy your time you probably have up to like three four or five things you want to achieve at this point of your life 
and even that is a lot. The next step is to really be able to manage your time. Honestly, you have to be able to manage your time. You know, tell yourself, okay, on Mondays, I'm going to focus on this goal I'm trying to achieve. On Tuesday, I'm going to focus on this. On Wednesday, I'm going to focus on this. Oh, in the afternoons, I will do this. Spread yourself across the different goals that you're trying to achieve and make sure that you put out, put in time or for those goals. It's left for you to rank your goals. You can rank your goals and say, okay, do I, this is, this, out of all my goals, I want to achieve this the most. You can then end up putting more time towards that particular goal and then, um, you know, reducing the time slots for the other ones. Like for example, oh, for this particular goal, I will put in like five or 10 hours a week. For this goal, since it's like second in priority, I'll put in like maybe two hours a week, that kind of thing. This has helped me also. Next on the list um, that has worked for me is also prioritizing self-care. Now, I've seen a lot of like glamorized self-care. Some people like, maybe they put up a whole day for self-care, they go to the spa, they change their hair, they go to, you know, they just do things that probably just require even a lot of money, right? But I'm here to tell you that self-care can even be the simplest things. It can be saying, okay, for the next five hours, I am not doing anything. I just want to watch a movie or my laptop and relax, you know? But whatever you do, whatever self-care means to you, try and inculcate that into your lifestyle. Because it's easy to get, oh, too focused into the, the goals that you want to achieve and you forget to take care of yourself. And... Imagine you actually end up breaking down because you're trying to achieve all these goals you have in mind. You will be forced to actually stop. So in order to avoid that, why not just prioritize self-care so that you have what it takes to actually keep, keep it moving, keep going and keep pushing, right? Prioritizing self-care is very key. I think another thing that has helped me is um, just going out of my comfort zone. Like you have these goals you want to achieve and I don't imagine that your goals are like, you know, very easily achievable because if if there's, if your goals are so easy to achieve, I don't think you'll be watching this video because you would probably have already achieved them. But the tendency that the goals that you have for yourself require you to do things that you're probably not, <laughs> you probably won't find yourself doing in the first place, but you just have to do it to achieve your goals. So I would definitely say going out of your comfort zone, like you want to be able to, you know, have a successful career, for example, it might require you to speak up at the office, maybe you're an introvert and like speaking up is not just your thing, you know, and obviously like this is just an example because there are people that succeed even though like they're introverts, but maybe the path that you want to take requires you to be out there. Guess what? You have to be out there. <laughs> It's just as simple as that you have to be out there so move out of your comfort zone I'm going to give an example when I moved here to Canada and I started trying to build my business and everything it's it's it has required me to network <laughs> with people like go out and meet people and talk to people and it's not in my nature to just want to go out and just talk to people that I don't know and much less in a country where when I go out it's like 90% people that are not my race you know it's like you're going out you're meeting people that first of all you guys don't even share the same race <laughs> I found myself going out making the first step, talking to these people, networking, getting information and all of that because I know that the goals I want to achieve require that I do these things. So you have to be able to go out of your comfort zone and I hope you're able to. It's not the easiest of thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's going out of your comfort zone for a reason. It's, it's not a, a comfortable place to be in, but you just have to do it. Another thing is never, never, never stop learning. Like you have these goals or you want to be ambitious, you have to never stop learning. 
like the I I'm, I I believe that the the moment I'm unable to stop learning, life becomes so boring and sad for me. Like I never want to get to a point where I feel like I've learned enough. Like oh, okay, Chisum, you know enough now. <laughs> then what's what's left? There's no point. There's no point me being here if I've learned everything that I I one needs to learn. It's a very scary place to be in. If if I do say so myself. So always like keep learning and learning does not mean oh you have to um, take an under masters or something. It can be like reading, it can be watching videos, podcasts, whatever it is that is useful to the goals you want to achieve. Keep learning about those things and you find that the more you learn, the more you find out that you don't know <laughs> and therefore you have to keep learning more. So yeah, keep learning. Learning has helped me a lot, to be honest, in achieving my goals. Like, I keep learning, and I'm like, wow, I didn't even know this before. Well, I'm grateful that I do now. Let me keep learning. Then, last but not the least, if because um, you know, I'm always going to include something for people that are married because obviously, like, being ambitious and having goals. As a single person you just have to think about yourself but once you get married it's not just about you anymore you have a partner as well so and I would say that like as a married person do not neglect your partner your partner should be part of those plans in fact if you're if you have like five goals there should be a sixth goal <laughs> like if those five goals don't um, include your partner or something but there should be a sixth goal that also like prioritizes your marriage so that as you're doing all these things you're doing how you need to be here you need to do this you need to do that you're also having some time for the person that you said i do too you know taking our time to spend with them and everything like it takes intentionality to also make like marriage work and marry and for marriage to be sweet you know so if you're married and you have all these goals you want to achieve please make sure that your marriage is actually part of those goals <laughs> you get whatever you do right don't leave it behind and of course like the context here is that you also have a partner that loves you because i don't like making like blanket statements that um, maybe your marriage is different and you just want to go and apply what i'm saying my own assumption is just I mean you're just you're in a working marriage you're in a working marriage a marriage that actually works in the favor of both you and your partner right in that case you probably have you have a partner that is supportive and have acknowledged that okay my partner is a go-getter and is ambitious and they will they want to support you you on the other hand you just have to make sure that you you're constantly showing love to them and you know feeding them with their love language and spending time with them and doing all of that good stuff because it's very easy to get like clouded with the goals that you want to achieve and forget that you said I do to somebody <laughs> you know it's a forever thing so always have that in mind so you guys that um that's all of the tips I have to share today on um, things that can help you to achieve your goals you know if you're looking for different ways to achieve your goals and how you can stick with them you just like I mentioned first of all understanding that you cannot do it all and secondly laser focus on the things that you can do and be aware of the opportunity costs and make sure that you're okay with those opportunity costs prioritize self-care here and there it doesn't have to be costly whatever you can do to just feel good do it go out of your comfort zone because your goals will require that you go out of your comfort zones anyway do what you need to do to achieve your goals and keep learning keep learning as well and if you have a partner also one of your goals should definitely always be having a successful marriage and make sure that love draws in your marriage at least from your own side those are the six things I hope these tips help you if you have any more tips that you want to share for others that has worked for you please feel free to share it in the comment section and i will see you in the next one bye